what's up you guys welcome back to another video i have something that i want to try out on my channel um i did it once i did it yesterday um i tried this out but i did want to try it for you guys so you guys can see how it looks but this is basically like a reverse um contour and highlight so basically you put your contour and your highlight down first and then you blend your foundation out All right, and now I'm gonna go in with, what's this called? Nude, okay. The only thing I don't like about the Anastasia um, Contour and Cream Palette is that it's like super thick. So, it's like hard. It's hard to get out this paint. And I would never do my highlight and contour like this. But when I seen the girls' videos, it was like, it was like, they did like extreme colors. Like, you know, some dark girls were doing like white. And I was just like, okay, so do you like have to amp it up? So that's what I'm gonna be doing is just amp it up because I normally wouldn't use this color to um to highlight. This is too light. But you know, for the sake of the video I will test it out and see if it works. Okay. So now what we have to do oh I missed it. I missed my nose. Okay, so I saw a lot of girls um doing this with beauty blenders. It's a lot of monkey see monkey do right now, but oh well, because I don't really know how I'm supposed to do it. So I saw a lot of girls do um, beauty blenders. They didn't use brushes. I really like using brushes with my foundation. It gives me more control. I feel I can just, but I will do beauty blenders because I don't have anything against them. All right, so I'm going to go with my beauty blender and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out an OD but goodie and I'm gonna be taking the Max Studio Fix Fluid in NW50. <sighs> I hope this goes good. Okay. So the girls just went right on in. That's what I'm gonna do. That kind of looks good and it's so crazy. I feel like this would be like my go-to now because it's so like quick and easy. It's like really easy. If you think about it, all you have to do now is like just stay. You don't have to like, like go on top, like concealer and things like, cause you already did that. So it's like, Is it saving time? I feel like it is. If you just, I don't know. Let's. See, I'm gonna do like half of it so then we can see. Even though I kind of went over there, um, I feel like it it did a good job, and it's so crazy how that works. Like I would think it would be like a hot mess. like that looks really nice it does it just it just does like do you see how I went from looking crazy to looking good do you see that do you I mean like everything just blended out so nice and you look good and you know you're highlighted you're contoured I think this might be my new method of putting on my foundation now and I don't know I'm into the whole like natural look I don't need to look very highlighted I feel like you know this looks very not just girl. 
I might have found me a new favorite out here. And it doesn't, it takes like the same amount of time for you to blend your foundation. Like it's not like a, a extra step as in like, oh, okay, I have to blend this like super hard. And the blending process is like blending very easily for me. And I really appreciate that. I thought it was gonna be hard to blend. Like not lying to you guys, I thought it was gonna be like, it just is blending like like nobody's business and like didn't come to play with me like blend it and i like that you can like you can see my you can see my highlight you can see my contour like it just it makes it to where your skin is not flat when you put on your foundation and that's the goal is really pretty like i'm I'm not shocked obviously because I did this yesterday, but it's like it worked because yesterday I used a different foundation and I wanted to see if it works with other foundations and it works the same. It's just beautiful. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to finish up the rest of my face off camera and then I'll be back to show you guys the results. Alright you guys, so I finished up the rest of my makeup and honestly, I like the way my makeup looks. Um, I like that it was done very quickly. Everything is sitting on nice. Everything looks good. All I had to do was set my face, put powders on, and then finish up like my eyes and stuff. So I actually do like this um, reverse contour highlight a whole lot. Um, I feel like it did save a little bit of time, not tremendous, you know, not like it's going to save you 25 minutes, no, but I'm saying it's going to save you like, okay, my process, I put on my foundation, I blend it, I put on my concealer, I blend it, I put on my contour, I blend it. I don't ever just put my highlight and contour together and then blend it, so maybe if I did it that way, I would kind of see is it really a difference, but in my own routine, it does, you know, save me some time in blending and I actually really do like it. I feel like it came out good. It looks, you know, natural. It doesn't look all caked up. So I really appreciate this. Um, don't talk about me because I'm still in my bonnet. It is what it is. My hair isn't done right now. But I did want to bring you guys a video. Like I said, I'll be bringing a video every single day. With that being said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.